vlog. Oh, no, it is still the morning. It's 11.45. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. You may be wondering, do I feel a little bit better from my last vlog? Or maybe you're not even wondering, but I'm gonna tell you. No, <laughs> things are still, things are still very much the same, but it's okay. I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm trying to focus on more things that make me happy and bring me peace. And that is vlogging. But it is time for me to eat. I had, I'm trying to do better with eating actual meals, you know, so I'm not just having little snacks here and there, even though my snacks, really aren't terrible. They're just like a uh, kettle cooked potato chips or something and it's a serving size. It's not like I'm overeating. I still wanna do meals to get those nutrients. I'm trying to get you guys at a good angle. So y'all know uh, when I went to Joe and the Juice the first time, I did not approve. I was like, what's the hype, right? The spicy tuna, so good. I've had it like three or four times now, but look, DC is like 30 minutes from me. You think I'm about to drive 30 minutes just to get me a damn spicy tuna from Joe and the Juice? No, so what did I do? <laughs> Recreated at home. Y'all, I have it down pat. Like, it's actually better. I'm not even going. First of all, it took forever for me to find the perfect bread. I went between two once I narrowed it down, bought both, and then I narrowed it down to the one that I love the most, so. And it's so good, I promise you, you can follow any other TikTok recipe that baby out there, mm -mm, I got it. Mine's the best. It's better than Joe and the Juice. Actually, all I need is the little pink thing it goes into. So if you like spicy, if you like tuna sandwiches, just trust me on this. Just trust me. So I still have some left over from last night because I made it at, y'all, yesterday was such a long day. I went to the gym at like nine o'clock at night. Didn't get home till 11. And then I took a shower. I made my Joe and the Juice at 12 o'clock in the morning. I saw Zara for all of 10 minutes yesterday. And y'all know I love my baby girl. Why did I only see my child for 10 minutes out of the whole 24 hours? Because that's how busy it was. So if you can understand where a lot of like my stress is coming from without me giving like the whole narrative, 10 minutes out of the whole day is when I saw my child, not okay. But yeah, I made a uh, Joe and the Juice last night, or shit, this morning at 12 o'clock in the morning. It was excellent. I went to Target at like 10 o'clock last night too, uh, before I went to the gym and bought a little flatbread press. I got me a little, not a food processor, cause that's how you need to make the tuna. Um, can you not do that? You have to make the tuna into like a, uh, what's the word they use? I don't know, but you gotta put it through the food processor. I wasn't buying a food processor just to do this. So I got like a little chop thing that still does the same stuff. Here is, let me show you guys. I got my tomatoes, my avocado, everything. Got it all. And I'm gonna even make their stressed down juice because y'all know I have a juicer. I didn't make that last night. It would have been way too loud. But um, I am about to make that. I'm really craving that too. So that is just strawberries, apples, and ginger, I believe. So I have apples. I bought some fresh strawberries and then I bought some ginger. Or I got all this stuff off Instacart. Okay, I took the ginger out. What else do I need in here? Yeah, I just bought a little uh, George Foreman last night. I was just gonna get a, um, like the presser, those like cast iron presses. Can't find them nowhere. Cause we have like uh, the griddle the cast iron griddle that we could just put on the stove and then I could just press it on both sides, but I couldn't find that. So I just got this, it was only like $25 at Target. So I'm trying to figure out where I can set y'all up so you can see the magic. I think I just do it here. And then we'll make the juice. Should we make the juice first? So let's make the Joe and the Juice juice first. We got Joe and the Juice at the house, okay? That's what this is. Got it at the house. When you're craving something, you can't get to it. I'm not driving 30 minutes to go get some food and deal with DC. No, we're gonna make it at the house and it's cheaper. Yeah, if you guys care, it's uh, this is actually the most I've talked <laughs> in a while. When I, when I get stressed out, like I completely, and it has to be bad stress. I haven't felt this stressed in a very long time. When I get stressed out, I shut down. Like I just don't speak at all. I'll talk to Zara, but my husband, I ain't talked to, I ain't have no conversation, nothing. Like, I just completely isolate myself from life. So I'm just trying to get out of that like headspace because this is not a good headspace for me to be in. I don't like feeling like this. So I figured, what can I do to make me feel better? What can I do now while I'm at home? And that is vlog. You know, I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy talking to you guys. It's more than me. For me, it's more than just like putting out a video, watching the views and all that stuff in hours, no. 
I really, truly, truly love engaging with you guys. I love when you comment. I have been trying to respond to a lot of my comments and I just haven't responded because I just haven't been in the headspace to respond. You know, like I haven't felt the want to respond because I'm just like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to type. You know, sometimes you just get to a point where it's just like, I'm so overwhelmed. I just, I just want to be silent. And that's just what I've been going through lately. And I'm just trying to get out of that. So posting to YouTube and engaging with you guys and seeing what you guys have to say, even if it's like three words, you know, I those really make me feel better. It makes me, I don't know. That's why I like YouTube, just to engage, 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 engage. Where's my ginger? So this is the only ginger they had on Instacart. I don't know why it looked like it's still in the ground. Um, I don't know, I don't need that much of it. I just need like the smallest thing of ginger. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been lately. I'm trying to get out of weird funk is that I have going on. Today is the first day. Mother nature has paid her visit, but it's not that. I've been feeling this stress way before it was this time. So probably as soon as we got back from vacation is when everything started to kind of like go left. <laughs> and it's been going left for a little bit. It's been, it's been different, but like I said, we're gonna try to pull out of this headspace. Yesterday, I was in like the worst of the worst yesterday. But I should be also getting, um, I ordered a whole bunch of new workout clothes on Gymshark. I was like, look, I'm trying to look a certain way by my 30th birthday. The only way for me to do that is to order clothes. Cause if you look good, you feel good and you wanna work out really hard. At least that's how it works for me. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I ordered that Sunday. Today is Tuesday and it's already out for delivery. Crazy. Crazy, so let's go ahead and make this juice. I haven't pulled out my juicer since before vacation. This should be fun. You guys, are you guys liking the more wide angle now? Yeah, let's get this going. It's gonna get a little loud, okay? Well, for me, not y'all. <laughs> Okay, that's about all I'm gonna make for that. Joe and the juice also doesn't put ice in it. So I'm trying to decide. Do I want ice in my drink or just... I like to funnel out the bubbles. <laughs> so that's what this is for. Now I always get the stress down from Joe and the juice. Always, 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 always. Oh, I think it has bananas in it. I think it's strawberry, banana, and ginger. Not strawberry, apples and ginger is definitely banana. Can I juice a banana? Can I juice a You know what? Let me see some. <laughs> Can I juice a banana? Let's see. Is this my delivery? It look like it. Okay, I juiced it, but it looks like pudding. So uh, let's see if, it, if filtering even does anything for it. Just to get a little bit of banana flavor because I forgot it, it does require bananas. And that was my package. I have a couple packages coming. I got Gymshark, I got a Sephora, a little haul I did, and then my Ulta Beauty should be coming in too. I also ordered a, um, a new ankle brace for my ankle because my ankle's been killing me, y'all. I'm not even gonna cap to you. It's to a point where I can barely walk on it. So that was like another one of my stressors. Like, oh my gosh, I need to be able to walk. I live in a freaking town home. And now Amazon's pulling up. <laughs> It's like Christmas. These bananas, I like them to get ripe because I use them to make muffins. So maybe that's why it came out all weird. I put apples in mine. It was just supposed to be banana, strawberry, and um, ginger. But we added apples, we different. I think this one's more like their go away dog juice. I haven't had that one. Any juice is really good to me. Let's try it out. It's, okay, now it starts to look like it because of uh, the banana. It tastes like it to me. Joan, Nia and the juice. Nia and the juice. That's that's what we are at home. We are Nia and the juice at home. This is the only thing about a freaking juicer. Cleaning it. Ugh. I have to clean as I go, so bear with me. This vlog probably won't be like as long as I've been posting, like 40 minutes, almost an hour. This is gonna be a much shorter vlog, just so y'all know, because I, I only have so much to record these days because of the mood that I've been in. And that's just the reality of it, y'all. Sometimes it's just like, ain't nothing going on, but I'm gonna try to work with what I got right now. So if you're watching this, I appreciate you for watching because this is literally me trying. Like I am trying right now to get out of whatever it is that I'm in. This is just 
the reality of it. Okay, now to the fun part. I should have been heating up my dang, what you call it? Plugging in my little panini press. So let me show you guys the bread that is the best bread and the most similar to the Joe and the Juice that I have found. So I have some non bread that like the, the exact same uh, size as this. It tastes good with the sandwich too, but it doesn't give Joe and the Juice. This bread right here, they're a uh, whole wheat sandwich thins by Arnold. Oh, y'all can see that. This is the best bread to use for Joe and the Juice. It even has the same like crunch texture once you bite into it. I was like, put this thing in a pink package and tell me this ain't doing the juice. Oh, mousse, that's what it's called. To make my tuna mousse, um, this is what I use. So this is what it looks like. Looks just like their mousse and honestly tastes better than the mousse too because I had a little flavor to it. So you just get a can, whatever you like. I use albacore tuna in water. So that's the one that I use. I put that in my little processor thingy and then um, I seasoned it with some onion powder, some garlic powder and also they don't do this, but I put some cayenne pepper, just a little, or not cayenne pepper, um, organic red peppers, just a little bit, and then some salt and pepper to taste. Now, y'all can taste as you go with it because it's already, it's a canned tuna, so you can taste as you go. So do your seasonings, taste as you go. I don't measure when I season, I just go until my spirit's like, so if your spirit don't do that, I will taste as you go. I don't need to taste as it go because my spirit got me. <laughs> I also put in um, half a lemon. I squeezed half a lemon in here and did like a third of a, a medium red onion, purple onion, whatever y'all want to call it. It's purple, but red onion. And then I just mixed that up in my food processor and this is how it came out to look. Like a little tuna mousse. I don't need this because I'm definitely about to eat all of that. Then I have my tomato from last night that I've already thinly sliced. I ate half of my avocado last night already. So I have the other half in here. My avocado, it's not as ripe as it should be, but it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's gonna be an avocado. Y'all know how to do avocados, right? Like, come on. <laughs> Usually this thing come out perfect, but I'm totally messing this up right now. Judge your mama. So yeah, tomatoes. Thinly sliced. I should probably slice this one up and then slice up my avocado into thin slices. I accidentally made them way too thick last night. Damn, I'm just straight cutting my finger. This knife is sharp. Yeah, I made them too thick last night. I'm not a big fan of avocado, but I'll eat it when I'm supposed to. If, it, if, it's, if it's for the dish, I'll eat it. But you ain't gonna find me just eating avocados just out of pure enjoyment, cause you know. <laughs> So let me get this going. And these are just like little sandwich thingies. They're already cut in half, so you don't even have to cut it in half. All of that's done for you. I just placed this in my little George Foreman. You can use an oven mitt with this if you kind of clumsy and be forgetting that it's hot, like me. I usually do one at a time, but I'm do two because I'm impatient and I'm hungry. This tastes just like the stress down. They should add apple to it. They should really add apple. <laughs> the apple hits. I'm gonna start. I guess cleaning this up a little bit. I always clean as I go, but when it comes to this juicer, I just, I be trying to wait. I'm honestly just happy that the sun is out because DC, North Virginia, been playing. I was like, where do, do I live in Washington DC or Washington state because, oh, and you need pesto sauce. Pesto and Tabasco, almost forgot. And jalapenos, come on now, girl. Damn, I knew I was missing something. I was like, this seemed a lot more easier than last night. So you need your pesto. They do put pesto on it. This makes it taste so good. Use any brand you want some jalapenos. They put some Tabasco sauce as well. It's good y'all, like I'm not even lying to you, it's good. It's real good. Especially when you can make it at home and make it exactly the way that you like it because I feel like a lot of restaurants be skipping out on some flavor sometimes. So I'd be like, um, where are the flavors? All right, let me just clean my juicer while these are toasting. Got those out the way. I like my bread to be almost like a cracker cons consistency, but like a soft cracker. I like it to be very consistent with how uh, Joe and the Juice does their sandwiches. Like I want to feel like I drove to DC, got the sandwich and juice, came home and that's it without the whole driving there and back part. So, so I think this is pretty much at the consistency I need it. Let me get the other one prepared. And this is such a good like, it's just such a good break. I ate it for dinner, but it's such a good lunch. It's just I don't see nothing unhealthy about it. So if you're on a diet or something, tuna sandwiches are always good if you're on a diet. It's just so much protein in them. Now let's make the sandwich. Hopefully you guys can see this. Here's what they look like after they've been pressed, almost like a cracker consistency. This is just how Joe and the Juice is. 
except their sandwiches are rectangle. I didn't care too much for shape preference. I want it to taste like I'm there. Let's put on some pesto first. Put it to your taste preference. If you like pesto, pesto it up. If you don't, just put a little bit. This pesto makes the sandwich really good. Now I'm going to put my tuna mousse. Got just enough for two. I didn't make too much last night because I was like, let me test it out first in case I mess this thing up completely. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on there. They use Tabasco, so I'll be using Tabasco as well. And I'm gonna put my, I put my jalapenos down last, last night. They kept falling off. So I'm gonna put them in first and then cover them with the tomatoes. So get my tomato here, place that on top. Let me go in with my avocado. Probably just do two slices since I'm not really an avocado girl but you do need avocado like it makes it makes a sandwich everything on here makes a sandwich you need everything on here everything it just all tastes so good together and then i don't think i'm missing anything and you just place it on top and you have your own little joe and the juice spicy tuna come on now joe and the juice at home joe and the juice at now I just wait for my other one and then I can sit down and chit chat with y'all. Let me actually grab my package that they just delivered. For me doing um, heavy legs yesterday, I don't feel too bad. I thought it was gonna be pretty um, pretty slammed today in my legs, like be wobbling and stuff. <laughs> there was this girl, she was leaving before me and she was doing legs too. I think, I don't know. But that girl was walking like she was borrowing them legs. Like they did not belong to her body at all. I was like, girl, where you get them from? Poor baby. Hi, Pooser Do. Hi, Pooser Do. He can't come up here right now because I just vacuum. But you can come up. Come on. We'll just turn the vacuum back on. He looks so sad. Yeah, my uh, gym shark package has arrived here it is now i hope this stuff is as cute as it looked in the dang um pictures we gonna open that after we eat but let me make my other sandwich and then sit down with y'all it's so cute royal caribbean is going through all of my little reviews and stuff commenting on my <laughs> videos so cute so they just commented on zara's get ready with me and then the uh me and my husband waking up on Valentine's Day to watch the sunrise. I didn't even know they were gonna find my videos. I love when that happens. Y'all wanna send us on a free cruise? <laughs> That'd be a fun partnership. Got my foodies, got my foodies, got my drink. Why does the camera look crooked? There I go to cat and dog acting like freaking Tom and Jerry. I'm gonna need y'all to calm down. Back up, you're not getting none. Back up. Anyway, Joe and the Juice at the house. Cheers to the stress down plus apples in the spicy tuna, but better. <laughs> what do I wanna bite? I wanna bite of everything. There we go. All right, you're not about to be messing up my furniture like this. Orange tabbies, I don't recommend. My face is getting slim, must be the stress. Mm. Now, if you are trying to, Try out the spicy tuna at Joe and the Juice, but you make this first, you won't go to Joe and the Juice and be disappointed because this tastes so much better. The one at Joe and the Juice is good, but this has so much flavor. It's so good. So try Joe and the Juice first, then make this one at home. Y'all can be like, oh, I don't need them. And then make the damn juice too. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It's so good. Y'all need to like it on my videos. Send over the partnership. Send over the partnership. You feel me? 3.3 .3 million on that. Come on now. They're going through all the videos. They're probably like, is she talking shit? No, but I am very honest. Their food was not busting the first couple nights. But later in the week, I was like, oh my gosh, where'd it spin at? <laughs> Yesterday was so crazy. And on top of that, my husband blew a tire on his Audi. Now, you got a foreign vehicle? Purchasing anything for foreign vehicles is damn near like buying a whole other car. Everything is expensive. When something goes wrong, that's why when people like be so quick, like, oh my gosh, I want a foreign, I want a foreign, I want a foreign, right? <laughs> you better have some foreign money too because when something goes wrong with these foreigns, child, you're gonna be paying foreign money. It's a lot of responsibility that comes with having a foreign. It's more than just like the status or like, oh, I have a foreign. But when you have, when your foreign break down, do you still have a foreign? <laughs> <laughs> That's my only advice. You get a foreign, get some foreign money. Same thing with buying a house. If you get a house, have some house money. This stuff ain't nothing to play with. You want babies? Better have some babies money. It's more than just baby showers, okay? More than just baby showers. There they go blowing stuff up outside. Y'all hear that? They are making like, uh, not tunnels, but like paths for like piping and stuff over here. So they're building more houses. They just opened up another section. <laughs> anyway, it's so good. Should be illegal to make something better than the restaurant itself. Cause how I do that? 
So I started um, buying makeup again. I mean, I've had makeup, but buying like actual makeup to like play with and, you know, test out and stuff. I've been doing that lately. Cause believe it or not, before I was a mom, I was very into makeup. I loved doing makeup just on myself though, not anybody else. I mean, I could do it on other people, but it wasn't like my first thing. Like, oh, let me do your makeup. No, it was always like doing it on myself, playing around, trying to understand like how certain things work, brushes, palettes. And that was like something I just loved doing. Like I would wear makeup every day. Not like heavy set makeup, but I would do like fresh faces, natural looks, neutral like it was just fun I had makeup on every single day because it was just something I loved doing and I stopped once I had Zara because who the hell got time to be doing that this is like part of the thing where I was like I'm trying to do more things that you know make me happy like me myself and I it's like learning that in motherhood and marriage trying to still find out what makes you alone happy because you can make yourself happy by doing things for other people right like I find a lot of joy doing things for Zara he over here running the matrix right now like I found a lot of joy doing things for Zara, doing things for my husband, doing things for my dog, my cat, maybe. <laughs> but, so I get joy out of that, but what do I do just for myself that makes me happy? Nothing. I don't do anything for myself that makes me happy aside from vlogging, you know what I'm saying? But even then vlogging and TikToks can be kind of stressful because it's it, it, it could just be stressful. <laughs> but, so I was like, what, what can I do that just makes me happy? You know, I still wanna start my scrapbook stuff. I haven't got my pictures printed yet, so I haven't done that yet. But I was like, well, makeup makes me really happy. Like I, I really enjoy doing my makeup. So I bought a whole bunch of makeup from Sephora. I kind of just wanna sit down, not do like a get ready with me video, but just like include a section of me just doing my makeup, like just playing around with it, like nothing professional. I'm not a professional person at all. I just know what works for me and the way I like things to look on my face. So that's what that is. It's not like a real actual like, oh, get ready with me, let's do my makeup video. No, it'll just be a section of me probably talking like this, but I'm just like doing my makeup, just like like one of my normal day go-to looks, you know what I'm saying? I could really save this for later. It's too much. Last night I was starving. I'm not starving right now. Let's get into this gym shark haul. I think I got like six or seven full outfits. So yeah, top and bottom. Let me take a thumbnail picture. That's something I gotta get better at, taking thumbnail pictures. I'm so terrible at remembering this. I should probably take them once they're out the bag because who the hell wanna see a thumbnail of a uh, plastic bags? Whatever. Okay, let's try to match them. I think I can pretty much, oh, okay, so I wanted to get a lot more vibrant colors. I normally always steer towards black, gray, and sometimes nudes. So I wanted to get colors. Like I wanna be wearing colors in the gym. Like I wanna, I wanna be seen in the gym now. Okay, I ain't shy no more. Y'all gonna see this body getting right. So let's get into the darker-ish colors first. I really don't know my size. Like I've been losing weight and so I really, I'm, I'm so used to just ordering sizes that are bigger, especially once it's cold like this, I always order a size up because I like to be more cozy during the winter season. So I'm like trying to get out of that mindset, like spring and summer around the corner. All right, so this is like a pretty, these are like a pretty like pearl blue gray. They're just, they're super pretty. These are some biker shorts. And then here's the matching tank. It's a shoulder. Y'all know I love to have me a little shoulder pop out moment. Shoulder, here's the back. This is the real reason why I got it. The back was just too freaking cute. I said, huh, give me that. I don't see nobody in the gym with that. I go to a bougie gym, so people be having some cute clothes. That's really who inspired me to buy just like up my gym clothes a little bit. It was all the girlies inside the gym. I'm like, y'all be in here cute. Let me get cute with y'all. <laughs> So the next set I got, and I'll link everything down below in the description if you're interested. I'll have it all there for you. I do have to try these on, but I'm on my period, so. I be tucking these bags up. You're just supposed to open it. I'm over here putting holes in them. I hope they all fit, because I really don't want to have to return anything. The next, do these two go together? I think so. This is like a fuchsia, magenta, whatever they said. It was like three different reds and pinks in here. But look at the, like, the print on the side. Super pretty. Everything for me, everything is a large. Everything is a large. I gotta compensate for my butt and my thighs. I just have like a wider like up torso. So I have to compensate for that. I can get away with the medium in pants sometimes. So that's why I'm like, oh, I hope they fit. So we'll see. Usually Nike, I wear medium because Nike's large is large. I wear medium and Nike, but I think Gymshark, when I used to buy them, was a large too. But these are all the full size leggings, I believe. I don't think these are cropped. They didn't have a, a sports bra to match. So I just got this regular, just Gymshark sports bra to wear with it. So this is what, I believe this is, for 
yeah, they go together. They have the little colors in it. So definitely we'll try it on. But like I said, I'm bleeding and I'm not in the mood. This next color, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna be seen for real. This one is so bright. I went back and forth with this one a lot, but I was like, girl, just get it. Like, why are you scared to wear clothes? Especially in a city where like fashion is a thing. Like DC, everybody got their own personality, style, everything. So everyone's doing their own thing anyway. So this is just the regular, just a regular um, crop or sports bra and then these are some little shorts these aren't biker shorts they come up a little bit higher than biker shorts but just this pretty sierra mist green you know sierra mist is not called sierra mist anymore my husband just told me that i said uh -huh. what is it then it's some weird like splashy or something i don't know <laughs> i cannot believe this got here this fast like i'm still like what okay here's some more leggings another leggings fit a lot of so when i buy my leggings i don't like when the band has like that straight just uh center cross i like mine to have some like curvature because it shapes out my lower back to butt ratio when it's just that straight line it makes your butt to back ratio look so weird at least on my body so all my like leggings and stuff have to have some type of like curvature or something on the sides like it has to shape somehow it can't just be like that straight box like a lot of um like tj maxx lululemon marshall's leggings and stuff they all do that i can't stand it is that pretty like blue gray whatever color I'll, I'll put it down in below in the description but yeah this is a large the leggings as well and gymshark's material is pretty good i've had a lot of my gymsharks for got it back in like 2018 yeah when zara was born still got a lot of them they still look good so and then here is the like it's a longer sports bra i like to work out in sports bras only in the gym because it'd be hot here is the back to it just a little hole cute little skin moment in the back. This is like a really pretty coral color. You see how it has a little curve in the back? Love that. There are the long leggings, pretty summer vibes. I try to get every sports bra like a different style, just, you know, switch it up. So every sports bra is pretty much different. This one is kind of more like straight across on the top and then it crisscrosses in the back, just like a cute little finishing touch there. I like to wear all black when I'm bleeding because Lord knows what's gonna happen. Lord knows. Lord knows what's gonna happen while I'm on my period. It'd be a mystery. So I just be wearing all black when I go to the gym. Cause the moment I feel too much of a, uh, I'm to the bathroom. Here's another pretty summer color. I love this. Uh, these are like biker shorts, super nice thick band. I love a good like thick, Man, like they gonna hold you together. That means that they won't be slipping. So I do a lot of leg workouts. I work on my legs three times a week. So some of my bands will like, like move down. I have to keep pulling it up or whatever. No, this, oh, love it. Like I was wearing my Lululemon pants last night. The only pair of Lululemon pants I got. Kept pulling them things up. I was like, this is athleisure. This is not for working out. If you do like real workouts, I don't know, Lululemon just, at least for me. For some people it might work out, but for me it was enough. And then here is the sports bra. You already know I'm about to take all the pads out of this. Very cute set. I love this. I love this color. This color looks so pretty on me in the summer when I'm all tan. My vacation tan is fading a little bit. It faded a lot on my face, but like my chest and everything is starting to fade a little bit too. And then this one didn't have, they had a matching sports bra, but it looked kind of funny. I just didn't, it just looked like it would be pushing everything up. So you would have to be like holding your chest while working out. And I don't like to worry about my body parts <laughs> um, showing when I'm working out. I like to just work out and just know my clothes are gonna cover up what they're supposed to cover up. So that's why I opted out of the sports bra for this one. So I just got a regular white one. Cause I was like, I just have a cute little, Barbie moment or whatever. Cute little pink and white moment. So these ones are my favorite. I'm excited to wear these. Oh, they're so cute. So these are like a pretty hot pink, long. These are much thinner, like more stretchy. They already know these about to feel so good and look so good on my booty. Cause look, you see what I'm talking about? Like curvature. Look at this. It got the shape of the booty on the back. I've never had scrunchy leggings. I, me I remember them trending like last year. A lot of people be wearing them in the gym, especially the girls that ain't got no ass. They love to wear these to like, you know, curve out their little cheeks. I'm like, go ahead girl, do what you gotta do. <laughs> but for the girls that do got a little booty, these gonna look good. These gonna look good. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. Ooh. 
They're gonna be looking like, where'd she get those? Gymshark got it. <laughs> and then here's the top that I bought for it. Just a regular white top to go with it. Or some white shoes, a white Nike hat, call it a day. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so now let me do my thumbnail. Low exposure. I still have my Nike gift card too, y'all. It's a lot of it's a lot of workout clothes shopping, but we stay motivated. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. I just dropped baby girl off to school. My insides are falling apart. What's new? <laughs> I wanted to get a vlog out today, Wednesday afternoon, but that ain't happening. So I'll probably just upload Friday. It's gonna be like one vlog week for a little bit y'all until my life gets exciting again because i know y'all don't care to see the regular stuff i do daylight savings is approaching us y'all because this sun be getting brighter and brighter even earlier the thing the sun just be waking me up and then i be thinking i'm just late to dropping zara off or getting her ready because it's so bright at just like 6 15. i think later i want to do my hair just for fun because i haven't done my hair since vacation i want to do like a cute I don't know, maybe like a cute ponytail or something. Just something quick and easy. I almost want to do my makeup too, just to play with it. Oh, my new, some of my new makeup gets here today. And my freaking ankle brace gets here. So hopefully it fits and feels good. It's an actual orthopedic approved, um, like the ones that they actually issue in hospitals. <laughs> I bought one because I was like, I ain't about to even waste my time trying to go to a, a hospital so i bought one so hopefully it fits i got makeup coming in today i don't think my ulta beauty stuff gets here till tomorrow so some of my makeup has uh some makeup by mario it's so hard see his makeup it's hard finding your right shade which is making me question if i like it so i right now i have a lighter shade and then I just got a darker shade that should be here today. I'm gonna mix the two and see if I like it. If I don't like it after I mix it, I'm just gonna return both and just be like, makeup by Mario ain't it. Because the color I have now on my face, it just, it's like I wanna like it, but I'm like, maybe the shade is just off, you know? So we'll see when the package gets here today. It should be here in the afternoon. When I, oh, I thought someone was in my back seat. It's the, the glare from the sun. Child, I was about to beat them with this camera. <laughs> been doing some editing and I'm sorry if y'all hear like a ruckus outside they're finally installing the driveways to the home since all the homes sold by our builder um it's loud as hell I can't hear nothing I can't hear the video I'm editing surprisingly my Ulta Beauty came a day early and then Sephora got here too by the way I tried on uh, my Gymshark yesterday everything fits really well I got Another makeup by Mario. I, this is the color I have 17 in up there. This is 19C. So I'm hoping if I mix them together, they look good. If not, they both gone back. Let me actually get this receipt out. Um, I got the bigger version of the milk primer because y'all know I got the mini. I was trying it out. This is a really good primer. It's really good. Soft matte if you're like an oily based skin type of girl. And then y'all know I love NARS. Um, I have this color in I think Aruba upstairs. So I just got Tahoe. I use Aruba and Tahoe really like religiously like Aruba. I would use Syracuse but I can't ever find it and it's never online. <laughs> so um, Aruba and Tahoe I always mix together. Aruba is like my winter color. Tahoe is my summer color. In between those seasons they're together so i got the soft matte i have them in the radiant the long radiant natural radiant something the rectangle bottle i have them in those two but i don't have both of them in soft matte so got that i just love how nars cases feel they just feel so good and then i wanted to try out their um soft matte concealer because i haven't played around with their concealers yet or at least not the matte ones i have all their other concealers but i haven't tried matte i don't know why i'm smelling it yeah i really want to try it it has really good reviews on the website so yeah i got this in the color uh what i get custard i believe so i'm gonna try that out and then I got another lighter concealer to look better with my, just when I highlight like this area of my face with my makeup, my concealer I have now matches way too close to my skin color because I'm fading away. <laughs> so I got a lighter one. This is in the color Crema Cantalina. Cover my eyes. There you go. Crema Cantalina. And this is just their regular um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Love freaking NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this concealer religiously. Like I don't use no other concealer. I really, okay. I really barely use any other foundation either. But I am exploring with some new foundations. I used to use um, Kat Von D's vegan foundation a lot. 
I used to love that, but then it just got too thick for me. I love using Fenty um, foundation as well during the summer, just a lot lighter. You know, because I'd be hot and sweaty, so I ain't got time to be melting. It's got the matte bronzing powder, the one that was supposedly not in stock, but was in stock at the Sephora over here in Reston. This color is so freaking pretty. I can't wait to use it. Man, NARS just be getting it with their packaging. Here is color. Oh, so pretty. I'm so excited. I want to play with this makeup so bad. I miss just like doing my makeup. And that's all I miss doing. But let's go test out this makeup by Mario and see if it's any better. I'm going to try it by itself on one side and then mix with the other one on this side. If it don't work, I'm returning it because why are you not working? Let me just take these out their packages because I'm going to use these and I'm definitely not getting rid of them. NARS has not failed me. Oh, they find, they taking a lunch break because goddamn. I couldn't hear nothing for like three hours straight. I couldn't hear anything. Hopefully y'all can see me well. I still gotta like adjust the lighting and stuff in here, but uh, it's the it's the light bulbs. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna put on primer first and then we can put on the makeup of Mario. So here's the 17 in and then here is the 19 C. Because I feel like I want to like it, but I'm like, let me see this coloring. Mind you, this is my third bottle now because at first I bought 18 W. Then I went in with 17 in and now I got 19 C. So I don't freaking know. Here are the two colors. They're pretty close in shade, but all right. So I'm going to put some of the milk. I'm going to just put this on both sides of my face and see how it takes the makeup by Mario. So here's just the regular. This matches my face, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, <laughs> y'all probably will not be able to tell on camera. What is this color? 17 in. Oh no, it just doesn't do enough for me. And it matches, but it's still like, and then here is the newest one. Okay, now this, what the hell? <laughs> okay, this matches my body. That's why I'm like, I think if I match it or mix it, it should be good. I think that might be what my spirit trying to tell me. But I really want to try it because I really love trying new foundations. I don't know. And then it has like some shimmer in it too. And I don't really know if I'm like the biggest fan of that because of the fact that I am uh, a little bit more oily. I feel like it could be cute. Natural light. Let's see what I look like in natural light. I don't know. Still too bright. There we go. I don't know y'all. I don't know how I feel about it. It's weird. I guess you either love it or you don't. And it just gives like oily, I think. And that's with mixing them. Okay, now let me see what it looks like with like concealer and stuff. Because that could really change it up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't think I like it. I don't think Makeup by Mario is for me. I don't think I'm a Makeup by Mario fan. I don't I don't think so. I think it's gonna be a return. Let's just go ahead and get this back in the box. <laughs> yeah, y'all, it's a no for me on the Makeup by Mario. I'm sorry, it might work for some people, but it ain't me. Boo, let me turn, let me take it off. My boot just got delivered. I need them, them doctor recommended boots. So what I do, buy it. It was like $80 online. I saw some people at the gym with this on too. I said, oh, it must be good. Y'all working out with it. I can't work out with my other one. Look at this. It's just from like ortho. What's it called? Source ortho. So yeah, it got here pretty quick. They're based in South Carolina. It looks like it means business. This try her on. I really hope this works and heals me before my birthday. I'm just gonna give myself like six months to wear this and hopefully heal. I'm gonna just do it without socks on. It looks good so far. Like it looks real put together. I've been waiting for this to get here. I'm more excited for this than my makeup. It's the stuff you look forward to when you're about to be 30. Things that can possibly heal your body. <laughs> Welcome to the pre-30s where your body starts to fail you because of all the decisions you made while you were in your 20s. I'm gonna do like this. Oh, it tightens it. Okay, great. She hugging good and it's hugging evenly. Let's give it a test walk. Oh, it doesn't bend my ankle at all. She about to be healed. Oh, my camera's crooked. Hold on. I feel like I could run up a mountain right now. Bruh. It feels so much. And it's not all like 
like the one i have upstairs i got that from amazon that one sounds like a brick is literally like slamming on the floor every step i take it was so annoying that was one of the reasons i stopped wearing it and it was way too heavy on my foot i felt like i was doing more damage than um helping myself this is light it feels good i see why it's called the air walker source ortho if you hurt or you got something spraying you trying to heal it but you ain't really got time to rest i know this really ain't one of those recommendations people probably looking for but look this is the reality of almost being 30 okay so enjoy your legs your feet your all your joints well, you can, because as soon as you come to the year of 30, your body's like, oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> I only got 4% left, but I completely forgot to vlog our food. Oops. But it was good. Just our regular day, either uh, sushi. We got, um, I tried a new deep fried roll. So that was pretty good. They raising their prices, y'all. So you better get in where you fit in, because, but the quality of the fish is so good, so I understand it. I'm really just about to shower and get to bed. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, even though like vlogging is not a real time thing, like I can't talk to y'all and see what you're saying or how you're responding to what I'm saying, but this vlog alone still helped me to feel a lot better. I've been very, very down the last couple weeks, a lot of personal reasons, but I've always said vlogging is, you know, my virtual diary. It's one of my outlets. So when you go back to your hobbies, truly because it's a hobby, it feels so much better. So I'm just trying to find my way back to my happiness. I hope you guys don't really mind the gap of my video posting. I've tried to put at least one video. I'm trying to get back into at least posting twice a week again. So just slowly find my way back. I'm not forcing it. I'm just trying to get back into better headspace and this has really helped me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I will see you guys in the next video. Got some exciting, exciting news for you guys in the next video, so stay tuned. Yeah, thank you for your love and support and I'll see you in the next vlog. Good night.